Hello again, guys. We're now on 8.3, discussing rotations. So we're going to start here reviewing some rotation uh, information that you should remember from this past year in math. Um, so when we just rotate x degrees about a point Q, uh, we can rotate around any point, And we do that with shapes by drawing a line from my original point out to, or from my rotation point out to my original shape. And then I go that many degrees, however many degrees I've been told to rotate, and I draw that line, and it's the same distance away from that rotation point, and then I get my prime point there. I can do that with U and W to get my U prime and my W prime, because every point when we rotate a shape will be rotated the same amount of degrees. So this X degrees, that is what we call your angle of rotation, and it maps to our new shape our prime shape. So we can write it as this type of notation. So it's a rotation of how many degrees around what point. And if that's point O, that is the origin point. So if we were to come here and use point P as my center of rotation and rotate 60 degrees, now you can really go either direction. I think it'll be easiest here to go counterclockwise. Uh, but give it a shot. Go ahead and pause the video. You're going to need a protractor for this unless you're very good at approximating uh, degree measures. So we should then get something like this where if I draw my line to A and then I draw another line to A prime, that, that degree rotation will be 60. Same if I go from D to D prime or B to B prime. All of these should be 60 degrees in the counterclockwise direction. Now remember, it's um, kind of tricky, but a positive rotation on the coordinate plane goes in the counterclockwise direction. So then on the got it here, we're actually rotating about a point that is a point in the triangle. So here we're rotating with B as my center of rotation. So when a point on the shape is your center of rotation, you know that that point won't move. So B will stay the same. Everything else will rotate 50 degrees. And because it's a positive rotation, it will go in the counterclockwise direction. So we should end up with something like this. If we traveled in the counterclockwise direction, that means that we came uh, well, that arrow is not going to do what I want it to do, but that means that we came this direction and my BO line to B prime O prime should be 50 degrees. So before we move into rotations on the coordinate plane, these rules need to be written down in your notes. They need to be on your homework. They need to be all over the place because honestly, these are the most important rules for when we're rotating about the origin. Now, highlight, underline, star, something that this only works if we're talking about the origin. So if it's a 90 degree rotation, again, that'd be positive rotation counterclockwise. The only thing that happens is your X and your Y flip places and your y becomes negative. In a 180 degree rotation, not only do the x and the y flip places, but they, or they don't flip places, but they both become negative. And then in the 270, your x and your y flip places again. However, your x becomes the opposite of what it was. So make sure that these rules are written down somewhere before we dive into the coordinate rotations. So this section right here goes through why, in fact, uh, we have those rotation rules because if we did a 90 degree positive rotation, see we're going counterclockwise here, takes my two, three, it flips them around and makes the Y the opposite of what it was. With my 180 degree rotation, all it does is make both of them negative. So my positive two, positive three becomes negative two, negative three. In a 270 degree, a lot of people will mistake this and call this a 90 degree, but we're going in the positive rotation, so we're going counterclockwise. Um, so it flips the places and makes your um, old X or your new Y value the opposite of what it was. And of course, the 360 degree rotation just brings you back to right where you started. So go ahead and try to rotate FGHI on your own. You know that it's a 270 degree rotation, so you can use a point to point method or whichever method you want. Um, if I go back to my rules, we know that a 270 degree rotation will flip the X and the Y locations and make your old X or your new Y the opposite of what it was. So go ahead, pause the video and try to do that. I write out all my uh, points first and what their prime points are going to be before I put them on the coordinate grid. 
So for each of the points here, I write out what the prime location would be. So I flip the order of my points and make the second one the opposite of what it was. Of course, the opposite of zero is zero. So then you can see right here is what the graph would look like once you figure out where all your prime points are and put them on the graph. So now we're going to rotate F, G, H, J about the origin 90 degrees. So if we go back and we check our um, rotation rules, a 90 degree rotation is going to again flip my points, but now it makes what was your Y, what is now your X, the opposite of what it was. So try that with each of these. Again, think about what will the prime point be, then graph it. So when I think about all of my prime points, I flip the order of the X and the Y, and then I make my first one the opposite of what it was. So here for F, I now end up with negative three, zero. For G, I end up with negative one, negative four. Here I flip them, my negative four becomes positive. Here I flip them, my two becomes negative. So go ahead, put that on the coordinate grid. When I put all those on the coordinate plane, my shape should look like this. That is all that I really have for you guys today. So I wanted to close with this on the screen to emphasize that this is super important to have in your notes written down that hopefully you will get it memorized. Big thing to know is 180 just makes them both the opposites. 90 and 270 flip the places. 90 degree rotation, I always think about it, it's less rotation. The first one becomes the opposite of what it was and 270 is a larger rotation. So the second or the new Y value becomes the opposite of what it was. Please make sure you've worked through all of the Pearson module, done your homework, and please let me know if you have any issues. Thank you and have a great day.